Hello everyone, it's Tennille, your cloth nappy doctor. Today we're going to chat about cloth nappy styles. There is one phone call I must answer, one phone number, and that's my daughter's school. So my apologies to those who were on before. This one I must answer. So as you saw, it took about an hour to do it. Um, and if you follow my 365 Care Apicali page, you'll know what's going on. But that's not for here, this is for fun. So, today we're going to talk about cloth nappy styles. And I'll, I'll talk again, and, and uh, I'm just going to start at the beginning. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Alright. Cloth nappy styles. Cloth nappy styles are in your flats, your pre-folds, your all-in-ones, your all-in-twos, your pockets. And um, you've probably been on YouTube, you've been on Facebook, you've been in the groups, and you go, which one for me? Now, some sage advice that we give out is, what works for you may not work for your friend. And what works for your friend may not work for you. So choosing a cloth nappy is like choosing a pair of jeans. Okay, some people like the bootleg, the straight leg, the tummy bit. I love the tummy one after four kids. Um, it can be like a bra, your balconette bra, your sports bra, no bra, and your undies. Okay, bikini, high, high sides, G-string, grandma pants. Okay, so it is like that and it's like that because you've got the different styles you've also got what suits your baby if you have a big baby a chubby baby a skinny baby um, materials that you prefer what else whether you like snaps or velcro if you some parents have a um, arthritis in their hands and need to use velcro there you go so choosing a cloth nappy style and when you start the journey don't start with budget don't start with budget because you can get quality nappies in any budget, really. All right. If you start out cheap, you will generally be disappointed. Okay. And the cheaper ones, you have all the lovely patterns and everything else. And you go, oh, they're really cute. But what you're paying for in a cloth nappy and what you need is absorbency because at the end of the day, you are catching we and poo. That's what, you, that's what you're doing, it's catching wee and poo. The rest of all these lovely prints and patterns and cuteness, which is all really lovely, mean nothing if you don't have your absorbency. So, there you go, right here. Say hello, please. Please say hello if you're there. <laughs> I don't feel so lonely. All right, okay, so cloth nappy styles. If you have a friend who is starting out, share this video. If you know someone who's there, share it, let people know Okay, because this, this will be visual and not reading. Because when you read them, you, you can go on forever and you fall asleep and you get 50 different things. Hello, Laura, again. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're going to start at the beginning. And that's your, or the, the just, the cheaper ones are not as convenient as the more expensive ones. But these ones are more versatile than these ones. Hi Erica, hi Danielle. Hi Danielle, nappies for your son who is pig fit. Have you popped us an email, Danielle? Pop us an email. Um, and nappies for your son. Abby, wait, Abby's make pig fit. And we um, use the apple cheeks for her and the baby behinds as well and plus pre-folds and flats, uh, covers. Okay, so, so listen, so, when I'm chatting to you, Laura's interested in nappies for older children. We did a, um, I did a live video um, a couple of weeks ago, Laura, um, for kids with, um, oh, Danielle, I am going to chase that up for you. That is not good. I will chase that up. You should have got a response. I will chase that up. And Laura, older children. Oh, yes, absorbency is needed. All right, so Laura, um, we did a video a couple of weeks ago on um, nappies for older kids. Um, 
uh, about two videos back if you go to the video tab on Apkali's Facebook page um, and you will see it there. So couple backs is larger cloth nappy. So you'll see the range there, Laura and Danielle, that'll be good too. But I'll chase that up for you, Danielle, too. Alrighty, let's go. So going back, this is a flat. This is our Simply Cloth Bamboo Double Terry Flat. Now, great thing with flats is that they're usually about 60 centimetres. A bamboo means it's trimmer than your cottons, um, organic cottons or just general cottons. These ones mean you usually have one size. You don't have to buy different sizes. You're usually between about 10 bucks each, roughly. Um, bamboo is a little bit more expensive because it's a bit trimmer and the material is a bit more expensive. But flats. Flats are fabulous because you can fold them to anything you need them to be. And then you can do origami, you can make up your own folds, anything you want. They're fabulous for that. If you've got a boy and you need absorbency at the back, if you're a girl need absorb at the front, and if you've got a girl who needs absorbency in the middle, easy. If you want to use a snappy, you can use a snappy. If you want to use a pin, you can use a pin. You, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But these ones mean you have a little bit more work in regards to getting the nappy ready. That's where the work comes in. You need to get the nappy ready, which is folding it to what you require. So for my Abigail, it's me doing that. And then you need a cover. And this is the Bummy Simply Light. It's a light P.U.L. colour cover. They're made in uh, Canada. And they whack it in the cover and off you go because my girl's 12, goes in your cover, and that's what you got to do. This is called the pad fold, and if you, that's all you want to do, that's all you can do. And I'll show you how this is similar to the all-in-two, and you can save money. So that's your flat. So the flat gives you versatility, because you can put the absorbency wherever you need it, but your work comes in folding it to get it ready to use. Next step up from that are your pre-folds. Pre-folds come in a couple of different sizes and similar to the flat, where it's just one layer of material, pre-folds have a couple of layers here. So this one has four layers here and eight layers through the middle. These take less folding. So you can see you really gotta fold that down. These, you can just go one, like this, and in it goes, in your cover. That's it. Now, if you want to do all the fancy um, folds and your snappies and pins, you can do that too. You don't have to, and you can do what they call the um, angel fold. So there are the wings that come out, and this one comes up, and that goes round. And you can do that, do it up with pins or snappy and put your cover on. So there's less work in these ones compared to these ones. Okay, so these ones require a cover, so these are pre-fold. So as I'm talking to you, if you're new or you've got a stash, you go, I need to upgrade or change. As I'm talking, think about what is, I talk about singing to you, the one you go, I love that. I'm not touching those. No, I don't think so. That, listen to your gut instinct. This is your mummy's gut instinct. Okay? This is what I want you to listen to, not what your friends are saying. Get this one, the all in two. It's the best one ever. Okay? Or, I love pre folds. They're the best. All right? So, if you ever come to us at Apicali or you ask me on a Facebook page or in the group and say, what's the best nappy? I'm going to say no. I'm not answering that, and what I will come back and say to you, here are about five to ten questions. <laughs> Let's work out exactly what you need, all right? So what we have at Apicali are great nappies, okay? Really great nappies. But they're not going to suit everybody. This I know. So having with the special needs kids, not everybody suits everything, you know. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, so for example, um, Trudy loves snappies. She will use a snappy for her pre-folds. I will just lay it in or I will use pins. I'm not a great snappy fan. I've used them 
and they were really great and they're really quick and easy but I have more success with pins and folding just I don't know I just do doesn't mean that snappies are bad snappies are bleeding awesome there you go okay um, pre-folds, flax pre-folds. Okay, next one up needing a cover are your fitted cloth nappies. So this is the Baby B Heinz fitted. Now, what fitted means is this has been all sewn up really nice. So you don't have to do any folding. Okay, so you've got convenience happening, starting to come in now. You've got some convenience. So that's what you're going to start paying for. Once you get past your flats and your pre-folds, you're paying for convenience. Now, the great thing with fitteds is the whole nappy is absorbent. The entire thing. The outside, any inserts that you get on the inside. So, Baby B Heinz comes with two bamboo inserts. Whole thing's absorbent and then you need a cover to go over the top. So that's your fitted. You still need a cover. There. I think that's pretty obvious. Now, the next step up from this is when we get into what they call the modern cloth nappies. And that's your pockets. A pocket cloth nappy, which is very easy and very popular with the cheaper ones because they're really quick and easy to make pockets. You have, this is your Apple Cheek size one cover. And you have an insert. These are the Apple Cheeks two ply bamboo inserts. You have a cover, you have an insert. And what you do with the insert is whack it in the cover. You whack it in the pocket. That's why it's called a pocket cloth nappy. And you put it in the pocket. That's it. Make sure it's nice and flat. Now, when you do pockets, you've got to make sure when you put it in, you make sure the inserts are flat. It's not all bunched up. That's it. That's a pocket. In it goes. Finished. Now, the beauty of pockets is, depending on the size, this is a size, oh, this is your one size pocket. You get one size pockets, which are awesome. These are made in Canada as well. You can use your flats and pre-folds in them. So with the apple cheeks, because the covers take no time to dry, buy more inserts. So they come with two inserts, because this is going to be dry within a day. Depending on the weather, this could take two days. So you can use your covers really quickly, which saves you money by having more inserts. Easy. Next step up. Now this is, now I might do the all in two. I'll do the all in two. So you see that as AI2, all in two. All in two means the absorbency comes away from the shell. That's all it means. So you've got your shell, your cover, and the absorbency generally, they all, this is your funky fluff. The absorbency can snap in, it can Velcro in, it can all sorts of things. So different brands snap in different ways. So I bet this is looking a little bit familiar to the pocket. Instead of being on the inside, it's on the outside. Okay. So some brands have two snaps, some brand has one snap, some brands have four snaps. And the inside of this nappy is where it's a very popular style, all in twos. Very, very popular. Because you can snap it in and out. You can, you know, you've got flaps, you've got stuff at the top, you know. Don't worry about any of that until you get your style. Don't worry about whether it's got extra stuff up here or if it's got a little flap under here or if it's got a pocket at the, doesn't matter. Until you get your style. Once you get your style, you can start thinking about all the really fancy dancy accessories and features they put on the nappy. At the end of the day, you're wanting to catch that wee and poo. Now, if you look at the all in two, there's your insert. Isn't it similar to the pre-fold and cover? What don't you need to do with it all in two? You don't need to fold the inserts. There's no folding needed. They're usually contoured, so they give a trimmer fit through the groin. And usually you get two or three inserts, depending on the brand, um, and you can customise your absorbency. 
So that's an all in two. The absorbency comes away. Good snaps. I like good snaps. Absorbency comes away from the shelf. That's your all in two. Your last one is your all in one. The all in one means the absorbency is attached to the shelf. So this is your bummies all in one, pure. It means the absorbency is attached or sewn in. So on some brands, it's sewn in to the nappy, so front, like this, sewn in. The old style, or the very first ones that came out, they had everything sewn in like a disposable, and the drying time was horrendous. Could take forever. Now they've improved the design of all-in-ones, that now they have flaps, tongues, whatever you want to call it. So the material that used to be sewn into this middle bit is now separated and takes a whole lot less time to dry. This, drying time for this, is the same as your all-in-two. If you pull the tongue out, even turn them inside out, some of the all-in-ones if they've got sewn in, same amount of drying time as your all-in-twos. Now, what's awesome about a all-in-one is because the absorbency is attached to the shell, it's all in there. It is extremely convenient. Very, very convenient. Because you don't have to add, take, do anything. So these are great for daycare, going out and about, if that's your stuff. So if you're liking the look of all-in-ones, and they are a bit more expensive because it's sewn within an inch of its life. There's a lot of sewing in that goes into an all-in-one. Then go the all-in-one. One cloth nappy will save you three to four hundred bucks over a couple of years. So it's not a waste of money at all. So grabbing a, a great all-in-one. So there's, there's your, there you go. Um, now, where we start getting into not good styles, not good, you know, is the, you know, the cons and the disadvantages, is because they don't suit your situation. So have a think about your situation, about your family, about um, your bub, um, their output. So if you've got a heavy wetter, you might be better off with a fitted and cover for during the day and then more at night. If you've got an average bub, fabulous, then you might just go the all in two with a little bit of boosting when required for night time. So you need, so from this point, and I'll come on, as I said in later in the lecture, where black and working with white, you're flat. Versatility. Versatility. You get the absorbency exactly where you want it. Pre faults. Less folding to the flat. Pockets. Pocket goes in, your insert goes in. Inserts usually stay well in place in a pocket. They'll stay there. Great for older children. Pockets. There you go. Do you want to stuff a pocket? You might not want to stuff a pocket. That's okay. Fitted nappies. This is a two-step system. You put the fitted on and then you put the cover on. Do you want to do that? Who knows? Maybe you'd prefer just to go wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and do an all-in-one. With the absorbency is all attached and off you go, you're done. Fabulous. Or maybe you like the versatility of an all-in-two, because you can use the cover for pre-folds or flats. You can sometimes use them over fitteds, depending on the cut of the cover. If it's got a thin groin, usually not. So there's your styles. There's your style of the cloth nappies. So from here, from this point, if you're new to this, or you're thinking of changing or upgrading, go your style. Now, think about your materials. That's your next step. What sort of materials do you want? Or if you don't care, that's fine. Think about your fastenings. Do you like snap or velcro? Does bub have a preference? Does hubby? Do you? Do grandma, grandpa, day kit? And then your fastenings. And I swear you can whittle down those hundreds and hundreds of brands to a few to try. All right, so start with your style. You'll get, you also think about if you've got a budget and you're like, 
oh, I don't have much money, which we didn't. Right in the beginning, when you have your first child, you are poor as buggery. I know this. Okay. Can you look at pre-folds maybe and some all-in twos and you can reuse the covers with your pre-folds? Can you buy more inserts? Because usually you'll have uh, two to three inserts, maybe four inserts to a cover. Make sure the cover, cover is wipeable clean. Okay, if it's got absorbency on it, you usually can't reuse the cover. Unless all the wee has just gone on the insert, you can reuse the cover. Okay, so there's ways. So don't don't just assume there are ways to do it. You might go, oh, maybe prefolds are a good idea for home. And then I get more changes. Uh, and the last thing I, I do really want to push is make sure you get absorbency. That is what you're paying for at the end of the day is absorbency. One very thin microfiber insert is not enough. That will get you through the first couple of weeks. Okay, so a lot of one size nappies are sold with that one microfiber insert, very thin. It won't get you through. So we have a lot of parents coming to us worried because their kids now three months and out wetting this one microfiber insert. And it is disappointing. It is frustrating when there's so much information out there. So when you buy a nappy, absorbency, 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 absorbency. Have a look at the absorbency. If you're not sure, pop across to the Cloth Nappy Doctor Chats group and ask. Ask us. It's an open group. Have it, just ask me. Is this in the group? And I'll come back and say you might need a bit more. Oh, that looks great. Ready. Um, so that's what you're buying is your absorbency. All the cute prints and patterns and all the rest of it are great, but it's your absorbency. And you, and if you can get customizable absorbency, and by that I mean you can use one insert or two, particularly in a one size, if you can customize it to some degree, even better. Because as your child grows and they're teething and they're weeing and then for some reason they're having five feeds overnight instead of two and oh, and it takes away the stresses for you trying to work it out. You go, oh, I just need more absorbency. I'll just chuck it in. Off we go. So it's about reducing it for you. Okay, I think it's time for morning tea. Some of you are very close to lunch now. <laughs> I'm going to go have my cup of tea. I think I'll have a muffin. But if you have any questions, pop them below. I'll check in and out on the day. Danielle, I will follow that up for you. Um... Yeah, and let you know. I'll go have a look and have a chat. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back in a couple of days and we'll have a chat about accessories. What accessories do you actually need with cloth nappies? Do you really need all that other stuff they talk about? It's like when you have a baby. Do you really need the baby bar? I bought one and used it twice. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's different. Okay. Any questions, ask me. I hope it's helped someone. Share it around. I hope it's helped you. Um, and remember, the style or styles that sing to you and stay with it. Trust your gut. Mum's gut instinct. Dad's gut instinct. Stick with it. All right? And do not get overwhelmed what everyone's saying in all the nappy groups and Google and... Uh, all right? Style first. Find your styles because you'll know. Um, Trudy and I are different. I love pre-folds and fitteds. I love them. But I'm not going to say they're what should work for you. Mm -mm. Trudy loves a good all-in-one and fitteds. I've actually discovered pockets are awesome for Abigail and it changes. Okay, so I, we're not going to tell you what to get. No way. We'll ask you lots of questions and give you lots of choices. or well, not lots of choices. We'll whittle it down for you. Okay. There you go. I hope that's helped. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your coffee. If you have a wine tonight, have one for me, please. <gasps> Bye.